name is Frederick Chinnelin, and as you probably already know, I'm applying to major in mechanical engineering. I've always really been interested in building things and using my hands, but only recently have I discovered my passion for engineering when I chose to complete the MYP personal project as a sophomore. Although the MYP project cost hundreds of dollars, required months of work, and got no recognition, it helped me realize my talents and interests. The MYP project is a long-term project that's offered at our school as part of the Middle Years program. The Middle Years program here at BCC is seen as a precursor to the more academically challenging IB program. The only challenge to the optional MYP project was that it was started in September and finished in April. The guidelines for the MYP project were simple. Create anything you want. So for my MYP project, I built a go-kart. Here's how I did it. The process of building my go-kart has been challenging, requiring months of planning. First step in the process was researching go-karts. For this, I mostly used the internet. I found several websites that offered plans, but I decided to build my go-kart from scratch. I began ordering parts for the go-kart, mostly from eBay. During the process of researching and buying parts for my go-kart, I began creating 3D models using a 3D animation program called Animator. This program allowed me to materialize some of my ideas. To organize the project, I gathered all my papers in a binder. The entire process took me the better half of the summer of sophomore year. Although time consuming, it paid off in the end. Construction of the frame went smoothly. The actual construction process required some heavy tools, supplies, and skills. For example, I had to buy a MIG welder and learn how to weld. Although most of the frame was made using CAD design specs, a lot of the parts had to be custom fitted. After the MYP project fair, I spent a lot of time refurbishing the frame. This is what my old go-kart used to look like. I reduced weight by reworking the front and improved performance by installing some key parts. I installed a hydraulic brake for improved braking power. I installed a racing clutch with adjustable engagement speeds. I further improved upon the design once I got the new engine. The new engine had an estimated four times the performance of the old engine making our go-kart a formidable machine. The new engine I got, I built myself. It's a heavily modified Honda GX200 clone motor. Parts I ordered online from performance engine suppliers, NR Racing, and affordable go-karts. Just like when constructing the chassis, I had to do a little research on the Honda GX200 clone motor. When I first started, I had no idea what, was, what I was doing, and I knew nothing about engine technology. But now, I am more knowledgeable and I know what I'm doing. The motor I got from Harbor Freight and Tools. Here are the upgrades I gave. 